The Great Famine of 1315, also known as the Great European Famine, was an unparalleled catastrophe that ruined the old continent. The devastating famine claimed countless lives and caused death and destruction everywhere. According to estimates, approximately 10% of the European population perished during the seemingly endless period of pain and suffering. The famine lasted for years on end, leaving devastating consequences in Europe. To understand the scale of this calamitous episode, we must understand the socio-economic situation in Europe at the time. The continent was in a period of great expansion and prosperity. This caused population growth, but much of the wealth generated remained in the hands of the feudal lords. They owned the land and exploited the peasants who worked in exchange for protection and a share in the harvest. But this scenario was eventually deeply disrupted by famine. Periods of starvation were part of everyday life in most nations, but the 1315 famine was unheard of in medieval Europe. It was caused by multiple factors, but the main reason was the appalling climatic conditions in Europe. The icy, wet summer of 1315 negatively affected the crops. As if this was not enough, the region endured several natural calamities such as heavy rains, hail, frost, and floods, which devastated the crops. This was not only misfortune. The feudal lords, who controlled the land, had only their interest at heart, continually levying taxes on the peasants, even with the poor harvests. Most peasants were plunged into deepest poverty, further tearing agricultural output apart. The lack of infrastructure and efficient transportation also aggravated the situation. The regions hit hardest by the famine had no chance to buy food from their neighbors, which would have happened in a more favorable context. The famine affecting Europe during this period was catastrophic. Food shortages caused food prices to skyrocket. Peasants, who were already living in poverty, went into absolute despair. They were forced to sell livestock and tools to pay off debts, and this further affected agricultural production. The situation was so desperate that the peasants resorted to extreme measures to survive. Some were forced to beg or steal. Others, even more desperate, ate grass, bark, and even corpses. The increase in crime and social unrest was bound to occur. Many took to the streets to demand food and better living conditions. The suffering and pain were indescribable. As food became scarcer, people grew more aggressive and competitive, wanting to ensure survival. This sparked conflicts between individuals, families, and even communities. There were reports of robberies, looting, and murders associated with the search for food. People began to eat rats, cats, and dogs. The Great Destitution caused outbreaks of diseases such as cholera and typhus, further increasing mortality. In some regions, the famine became so unbearable that men seemed to have lost their humanity. Hopelessness and suffering were beyond what the human mind could bear. Families were torn apart and morality, which always holds society together, was cast aside. Desperation drove many people to engage in unthinkable acts of cruelty, such as cannibalism. There were reports of parents killing and eating their own children because they could not bear to see their loved ones starve to death. Faced with the imminent threat, death seemed to be the only escape. One desperate man reportedly killed and ate his own wife and children. When the other villagers heard about this, they rioted. The man was captured and sentenced to death for cannibalism. To survive the famine, part of the future was sacrificed to salvage the present. Breeding animals were slaughtered, seeds for future crops were eaten, and people were abandoned in the woods. Fairy tales like Hansel and Gretel, which chronicle the abandonment or disappearance of children, appeared in this period, inspired by true stories. The authorities failed to rescue the affected areas. The church, usually one of the main sources of assistance, was also in trouble due to lack of resources. Those who wanted to help were left to die, and despair gripped everyone. As the famine increased, the authorities took more drastic measures to maintain law and order. Severe penalties were imposed on thieves or food hoarders. Many were sentenced to death for such crimes. Food rationing was established to try to distribute food to as many people as possible, but these systems were often ineffective, and sometimes generated even more strife. Social unrest increased, and riots and rebellions spread like wildfire. Those who always suffered under the feudal system began to demand better treatment and more rights. In some regions, these revolts turned violent. Peasants took up arms against the lords and authorities, 
The authorities struggled to maintain control, but the famine had caused the collapse of the social order. Law and order disappeared, and death was the only certainty. The famine had a significant impact on the feudal system, affecting the power of the lords and leading to the rise of new social classes. The economy suffered as agricultural production decreased and food prices soared. The crisis also hit the nobility. As local economies collapsed, tax collection was also violently affected. Without the resources to maintain possessions, many nobles gave up their estates at rock-bottom prices, and many went bankrupt or into debt. It is reported that the King of England, Edward II himself, had trouble finding bread for himself and his entourage. The famine lasted until 1317, when food production levels began to recover. It is estimated that over 10% of the European population died during the Great Famine. Either by starvation, social conflict, or health problems generated by this cataclysmic episode of biblical proportions. Some villages and small towns were so severely affected by the famine that they ended up abandoned, as recovery was unviable. The church's prestige was deeply shaken by the famine. The faith of many people was shattered by the events. Many heretical movements arose due to discontent with the church. The culture was transformed by less religious piety, leading to the growth of secularism and science. The Great Famine affected a population greater than 30 million people in Ireland, Great Britain, France, the Netherlands, much of Germany, and parts of Poland, Austria, and Scandinavia. It is possible that more than 5 million people died. The end of the Great Famine will also have an enormous relief to the survivors, but the peace of plentiful food did not last long, for a new and terrible disease was spreading throughout Europe. It would become known as the Black Death.